Hi there. My name is Kate Cayley. I'm a playwright, fiction writer, and poet. I live in Toronto. And today I am very excited to introduce you, or reintroduce you, to my short story collection, How You Were Born, which is going to be published by Book Hug in March. Now, How You Were Born is a short story collection that doesn't exactly have a unifying theme, but I like to think that if there is one, it's sort of the strangeness of everyday life and the weird connections that we make through it. Um, there are witches, possibly. There are a lot of children. There are old people. Um, there are people engaged in profound levels of self-delusion. Um, there are queer couples struggling to conceive and also thinking about aging. Um, there are circus performers and once again there are uh, touches, supernatural touches, and the possibility of ghosts. So I am very proud of this collection and I'm very very proud for it to meet readers because it's actually meeting readers again. This is a republication of a book how You Were Born, um, that was published almost exactly 10 years ago by Peddler Press, and Book Hug has, is republishing it, um, reissuing it with three new stories that I wrote specifically for this collection. Two of them have never appeared anywhere, and seeing this happen has been an enormous dream because um, you don't necessarily expect as a writer that your book will have more than one life, and when um, Jay and Hazel at Book Hug found out that the book was in fact going out of print, they took over the rights and brought out this whole new edition, new cover, there's a preface, there's an introduction, and for me as a writer, it's just wonderful to be able to see it again and have it meet, uh, maybe meet old readers who are friends with it um, and maybe meet some new readers because it does have these enticing new stories and a beautiful new cover. I'm going to hold it up. There it is. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's sort of like having a, a party that you weren't really expecting. And now I'm going to read to you from one of the brand new stories. This story is called Bloody Mary. There was a small bathroom off of the gym's change room. Grace knew it was almost never used. It was behind a beige door between two rows of lockers and it only had three cubicles. The bathroom was L-shaped, the cubicles facing the sinks and mirrors and then a corner ending in a locked door. When Grace was younger, she and Eva had believed, or pretended to believe, that the locked door opened into a secret passageway, which led down and underneath the school. Now they both knew it was a storage closet. Two years ago, when Grace and Eva were nine, the school had had an influx of cash, and new bathrooms had been built for the gym, with windows and sensor hand dryers and posters and steel frames that advised taking a stance on bullying. But this bathroom had remained, lapsing into a glum afterlife. Fluorescence hummed overhead, yellowish-gray. The corridor to the storage closet was unlit, and Grace could remember when they had sat there on the floor in the perpetual twilight and pushed coins and small stones under the locked door, wondering what was on the other side of the shadowed line. Grace wasn't sure how long they'd done this for or how long ago. She'd known Eva since preschool, which made it hard to figure out chronology. They lived two streets away from each other. They were only children. They took a circus arts class together and went to the same camp in the summer. Grace knew Eva's favorite foods, favorite books, what made Eva anxious, what she wanted. In university, when she was beginning to feel their hold on one another loosen, Grace read Emily Dickinson's Where My Hands Are Cut, her fingers will be found inside, and wondered at the process of separation, how it had begun, without her fully noticing, when for so much of her life she had been unable to think of herself without also thinking of Eva. Thank you. Once again, How You Were Born is being reissued by Book Hug in a new edition in March, and I'm very excited for you to read it, and I hope you will order it directly from Book Hug or from your favorite, beloved, local, independent bookseller. Thank you.